Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Rooster Gaming. Today we are continuing the playthrough of The Outer Worlds. It's an amazing RPG from Obsidian Entertainment. They put this out in 2019 and it is a ton of fun. So I just picked up this girl here. Her name's Nayoika. Ni Nayoka, maybe. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna try to get her suited up. So she's already up for a level up, so we're gonna go 30% base health, because, you know, I don't want to die another out there. Another perk? What? Threat generated. 10% lie. Ranged armor, melee damage. Hmm. She's already ready to level up twice. That's pretty awesome. Look at that damn gun she's got. Alright. Alright, she's got no more perks available. Okay. But I want to get some armor on her. What do we got here? There we go. That'll go up there. Put a nice top hat on her. <laughs> what was that stat? Level 9 4 armor. Yeah, no, we got this level 16 with the 13. Level 10 with the 4, though. She got the glasses. I don't know what the hell the glasses do. Yeah, no, get the mask on her. Alright, now she looks ready to rock. There we go. She's still perked up? I don't understand. Oh, I didn't, I didn't keep that one. Okay, so I gotta hit E. And then accept. My bad. Alright. Now everybody's all leveled up, ready for the trek, because that's... I'm going to say we're going over here to figure out what happened to this kid. He ran away to join some iconoclasts. I'm not sure what the hell iconoclasts are, but I'm not even sure how far we can get to him. Nope, we have to walk. And this is some pretty hostile territory. There are all kinds of wild animals out here. I'm gonna eat you for lunch. It's tempting to go this way, but... That's a long way to go. Oh gosh, are those dudes? That's a ringleader. I think I can take him out. Wait, so what we'll do is wait for him to go. Alright, I guess it's gonna be what it's gonna be. much at all, man. Like, a flamethrower? Holy crap. So anyway, thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for clicking on the video. Like the video if you like the video. Drop a comment. Subscribe to the channel. This is my second series that I'm doing here. I'm going to be dropping some uh, some gameplay of Grounded here really soon. Uh, I know it just came out, and I want to do some relevant stuff. And I definitely wanted to get into playing that game because it's really cool. I've had it in early access for a while, but it's another Obsidian game. And I'm, I'm going to have it on my channel real soon, so... But anyway, I've been playing this one. This is uh, going to be episode 15. Can I hit that guy from that far? No way. Right about bam. Got him. Here we go. Watch your feet. Let's take out the, the shotgun. Don't just oh, can't do that. Gotta get closer. Not a 
big fan of shotguns. I'm not. I gotta figure out a better gun. On your left, Captain. Oh, he stepped out, dude. This is acid. Oh, fuck cool. Wait. That's a bad guy? Really? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm about to die. Gas it up. What the hell? Alright, bring out the whammy stick. The gas again, dude. Oh yeah, you're gonna get wrecked, son. out the whammy stick. Look at that. So cool. Every time I boot this up, I'm like, man, this game looks amazing. Alright. Oh no. Who's burning? If I jump in here, am I gonna die? Oh yeah, for sure. Very cool. Alright. Yes. Something right there, he is. Our skills are unrivaled. That's always effective. Slow down time during the reload. Don't make me bring out the whammy stick, bro. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, this guy's got a fight for too.
shit. Oh, flamethrower. Go team, we're almost there. Wow, this is actually pretty big. spaceships now I think Six, holy crap. Three twenties. Oh, yeah, low hundreds for sure. Oh, yeah, it's got to go. I haven't shot that yet. I'll keep one just because I've never shot it, but. scientific weapons so and I've never even used a shrink ray yet I gotta try that shit all right shotguns gotta go shrink rays in <laughs> yeah let's see how that works that's gonna be cool can't wait to use that one uh all right let's go anything below like a one holy shit 960 yeah I forgot the ammo for it though Heavy weapons. Yeah, I don't, they'd blow through that in like two seconds and it'd be out of ammo. Alright, down to 181. back for sure. Here we go. Going to Amber Heights. Well, hello. 
and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Very enthusiastic. Who are the iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Really? That sounds a little too good to be true. Uh, no corporation means no paycheck. How do you survive without money? We make our own living here. Some of us hunt. Some of us scavenge the ruins left by the corporations when they abandoned us. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. So it's a hippie commune. One big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Nice. Tell me about Graham. Why are you here, not in Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. Mm -hmm. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Hmm. Okay, so it's a call. Awesome. Shrink Ray. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Okay. Damn philosophists. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Call me Atomic Rooster. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Oh, call me I... Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Free from what? Well, from the yoke of corporate tyranny. It's what all us Iconoclasts strive for, with Graham at the helm. We want unfettered freedom, not the lies that MSI tries to sell in Stellar Bay. True escape from all rules and constraints. You want to know more? Listen to Graham's broadcasts. He's been talking up a storm, working to elevate the minds of all the corporate drones in this colony, getting them to rise up. No rules or limits? Sounds like a utopia. It is. Just look at what a paradise Amber Heights is. We could take this world... No. Galaxy-wide. Only the vastly ignorant, such as one who has never even seen a picture of Byzantium, could call this a paradise. I've heard of that place. Graham once said the folks who live there are bound by chains they themselves bought. Sounds awful. Hmm. <laughs> You're a new face, too, huh? Yeah, to Amber Heights, anyway. Only got here a few weeks ago. Was living in Stellar Bay before then. But I can't tell you how great it is to finally be free of them walls. Aren't the walls up to keep everyone safe? Screw safe. I've had enough of playing it safe to last me a dozen lifetimes. A body's not meant to live such a guarded life. Everybody needs a little danger and excitement. Something to live for. That's what you get outside the walls. And if you're lucky, 
you find a cause worth bleeding for. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna bleed out here all right. Hmm. If I do, it'll have been my choice, damn it. The Iconoclast taught me that it's okay to be free to make mistakes. <sighs> That's a pretty strong reaction to the topic of safety. Sorry about that. It stems from some, uh, family trauma. I don't want to talk about that, though. Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. I mean... Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Damn, that Intimidate one's a little bit messed up. So what do you want to do about that? She'll keep sending people to look for you. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. Don't you think that'll hurt her? I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? If we do this, I need some proof that it was your body I found. Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. I don't know if that's the only way, but that's what the hell just happened. I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are gonna go tits up around here. Anyone else, as long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear work. Steam coming out of the roof. Pipes on top of my house are going to burst. They're leaking steam. Someone's got to fix them before they explode and the steam hurts somebody. Oh, I can't do any of that shit. My science is low. Somehow my science isn't up to... Snuff for that. Well, that was kind of weird. This is 64, what? She's gonna go tell her, her son's dead like that? Damn philosophists. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good... See where this is at. Stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Same distance, I guess, but. Holy crap.
smokes. dig up her dead buddies and do some proper burial stuff, I suppose. Holy smokes, that's still a long ways out there. A vicar, huh? You a true believer, or do you just like the tide? Why, well, that's borderline offensive, Ms. Raffery yeah. Wentworth. Of course I believe. The tides are merely a... Well oh, shit. Bonus. I met another believer once. Oh, you are in for it now. Oh, yeah, I was gonna attack like that, huh? Y'all hitting little bitty things? Oh, that's messed up. That's a pretty strong word, sir. with that thing. Oh, let's try the shrink way. Why not? That'll be a good idea. Come here, chick. Nope, that doesn't work very well. Again. I'm about to die. Why am I on fire somewhere? Do something, man. Oh, that ain't gonna work. F. Come on. No, man, I was there. I hit the button. I'm trying to gas it, man. Ah. Oh, boy. Well, you know, I guess you just hope that 8,000 bullets are enough. So we gotta go over the bridge. This town must have looked mighty grand when it was built. I'll go that way. This is what you get when a corporation takes a dump and walks off without cleaning it up. There's a big ass bug over there and she wants to eat our lunch. Let's not do that. Toss ball cards, I'll take all of that. Holy shit, 314 on the revolver? How the hell did that guy get killed? Alright. Oh, shit. It's sealed. The way out of town is sealed? What the f How 
is that even possible? Well, how do you do? I can't even get out of town. Holy shit. Advanced defensive helmet. Oh yeah, that thing is badass. Oh yeah, that's going right on my head. Examine. Wildlife examination report. A report written by Rizzo Wildlife Specialist regarding the Project Taro. It lists concerns that the higher than average volume of terror ray corpses may be attracting local wildlife. Combined with the alluring purple berry aroma coming from the Cascadia bottling plant, the engineer worries that raptodons may be encroaching ever closer to the walls. Through the, though the walls are theoretically sound, the engineer warns that they're relatively shallow, and that particularly cleverly, clever raptodons could possibly dig beneath them to find their way into the chemical waste pipes. Well, I guess that's how they got into the city. I think the big question now is how the hell do I get out of here? Don't do it. No, don't do that. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Y'all are on your own. I'm trying to find the road, run away. Think of that stupid thing. Oh yeah, we have got to uh, not go that way. That's not gonna work. Shoot. I may have got myself into a little bit of a bind here. Oh no, there's a road right here. Can we go this way and around? No, that's a big hell no. Well. Look at that. There's Manta Queens there and there. This town must have looked mighty grand when it was built. How's a door what barred? What you get when a corporation takes a dump and walks off without cleaning it up? You can't just go against some damn Manta Queens though. Those things are gigantic. Tearing my ass up, man. This door is broken. The computer is broken. I cannot get out that door. Freaking hell do I get out of here? This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospective. All right, so I had to get here. 
and I can start from over here where I can't get anywhere. Can't fast travel. Damn it. I don't think I can get over this part from here. Life was fated and unstoppable. And you're unshut up. Yes, he does not shut the hell up. That's for sure. It's definitely not letting me do anything. God, if I go there, I gotta walk all the freaking way. I'm pretty sure they do that on purpose. I can't get past this stupid gate right here. I don't know why. It's barred. So I gotta go back. Which I guess makes sense. Still freaking sucks though, because that's a long way to walk in this damn game. There's so many freaking things out here that just want to eat you. South here, off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent truck ahead of us. Off the road and down the slope. What? She said south here. This way? The hell does she know? I guess she's right though. Guess we go this way. Watch it. Keep cool, don't just think. They'll take a toe off. If I fall in, you'll pull me out, right? I mean. Here they come! Oh shit. Is it though? Alright, so that's the deal. You got to keep your health topped up. You can't top it up on the fly because it just doesn't help. Oh shit, there's two down there. An alpha. Alright, you can take him out, do a little shrink ray action. Doesn't really work very long though. slow for some reason. Alright. It's like a douchebag right there. Shrink ray's not gonna do it, buddy. I guess we just gotta fight our way 700 meters. hiding behind trees and stuff. I can't get a good shot. That's pretty cool. Not sure what the hell it is. The vermin. 205, okay. Alright, 
right, so what we're doing now is we're just going to continue on this path and see what pops up. That looks, uh, Crossroads discovered, huh? We got Fallbrook over there. Amber Heights, we've been there. Stellar Bay, we've been there. Cascadia, that's where we're going. Let's take a little jaunt over here. And Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need to drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Alright, let's go in and check it out real quick and then uh, see what happens here. Spectrum Vodka. Glass for every class. Oh, wow. It's another little... Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Hmm. Where am I? Lilia sent me. Where's Catherine? You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Do you know where Catherine is or not? She's... She's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. Hmm. Uh, word to the wise. Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Tell me about the amenities. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. Hmm. Where am I? What is this place? Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Hmm. Uh, sure. Swell. We like quick on the draw types like you. Saloon is straight back and to the right. Once you're feeling sated, you're welcome to a private cabin. Only two fifty a night. Ms. Malin can let you one if you're interested. She's the one who runs this racket. I'll be back. Keep your wits about you. This is sublight territory. Fallbrook. All right, so it goes Anything back their ways, want, but. Anyway, everybody, thank you for joining me. I am going to call it uh, long enough on this episode. And uh, if you're still watching, thank you so much. Please like the, the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. Tell me how great I'm doing or not doing. Tell me how your day was. Shoot me some stuff to talk about if you want to. I'm here. I'm listening. Anyway. I hope you're having a good day. This is the Atomic Rooster, and I am Apologies, signing off. Have a great night.